This is a transport vehicle or secretory vehicle. The RAP dot GTP is tethered via a lipid anchor to the secretory vesicle. The RAB protein belongs to GTPH superfamily of switch proteins. This is the target membrane. On the target membrane, a RAB effector protein complex is present. First of all, the RAB dot GTP on the transport vesicle binds to the RAB effector protein complex on the target membrane. As a result, the transport vesicle is dogged on the target membrane. The VAMP is incorporated into the secretory vesicle as it bursts from the Trans-Golgi network. The VAMP is a VSNARE. The VAMP has one alpha helix. An integral membrane protein in the target membrane is syntaxin. The syntaxin has one alpha helix. Another integral membrane protein in the target membrane is SNAP25. The SNAP25 has two alpha helices. The SNAP25 is attached to the target membrane by a hydrophobic lipid anchor in the middle of the protein. The syntaxin and SNAP25 are considered as the cognate TSNARES. The VAMPS then interact with the cytosolic domains of syntaxins and SNAP25S. As a result, the SNARE complexes are formed. The SNARE complexes hold the vesicle close to the target membrane. The SNARE complexes are very stable coiled coil SNARE complexes. The SNARE complex consists of four alpha helices, one alpha helix from the VAMP, one alpha helix from syntaxin and two alpha helices from the SNAP25. Numerous non-covalent interactions occur between four alpha helices of SNARE complex. These non-covalent interactions stabilize the coiled coil structure of SNARE complex. Immediately after the formation of SNARE complexes, fusion of transport vesicle membrane and target membrane occurs. But precisely how this membrane fusion occurs is unknown. It is hypothesized that by bringing two membranes into nearly direct contact, an instability in lipid bilayers is created and fusion occurs. After membrane fusion, a cis SNARE complex is formed. Also, after the membrane fusion, NSF in conjunction with alpha SNAP protein binds to the cis SNARE complexes. The cytosolic ATP then binds to the NSF. The NSF then catalyzes a biochemical reaction in which the bound ATP is hydrolyzed to form ADP and PI. The ADP and PI are then released into the cytosol. This NSF catalyzed hydrolysis of ATP then causes the dissociation of the cis SNARE complexes. Due to this dissociation, the SNARE proteins are freed. The freed SNARE proteins are now available for another round of vesicle fusion. The NSF along with alpha SNAP are also released into the cytosol. At this time, RAB.GTP is hydrolyzed to RAB.GDP and dissociates from the RAB effector. Please like, subscribe and share.